What up y'all, how's it going? Ben Dean here. Today, I'm gonna be eating this pile of chicken fingers, these waffle fries, this angry mac and cheese, and this coleslaw. I got this delivered for under 25 bucks, and there's actually even one more chicken finger that I gave to SJ, so that's a pretty decent deal for me. It also came with three different sauces. We have some honey mustard, we have some ranch, and we have some barbecue sauce over here. I don't think you really need to see a close up of the sauce, but um, everything is looking amazing, smelling really good. Let me just get into it. I'm gonna start off with one of these. I'm gonna go straight in for the ranch because I haven't had ranch in a while. It's been a long time. Uh, this is looking mighty fine. No joke, that's gotta be the most tender chicken tender I've ever had. That just like melted in the mouth, but it's still got that nice crisp, um, nice crisp outside, the breading. Let me try this barbecue now. Get a good, good dab of that. Wow. This is, these are some amazing tenders, I can't lie. That barbecue sauce has a kick, and I'll tell you that much too. Real tangy. I'm gonna finish this one off with the barbecue sauce. Mm. Wow. I'm gonna try one last one with the honey mustard. Mm. Actually, I might try to show you a close-up of this one. This honey mustard is like... It's got that Grey Poupon taste up in here. That spicy kick that I don't really see too much in different honey mustards. These have got to be up there uh, in the most tender chicken I've ever eaten, just right off the bat, and definitely top, top tendies. Um, I'm gonna try these waffle fries. Got some ketchup up here. Can't see it, but I love me a good waffle fry. These are definitely pretty good. I mean, they're still crispy. Which is actually amazing. Anytime I get fries delivered and they're still crispy, that's an automatic A. I don't even care what they taste like. Because it doesn't only, uh, I mean, there's del the delivery time, but then I have to set everything up, which you think, yeah, that only takes like, how long that can that take? But sometimes it can take a, a hot minute, so. Um, surviving all that time and still being crispy, I'll give that an A every time. Now this is, I'm, I'm curious about this. They call this angry mac and cheese. I just saw this randomly on the menu and um, it was looking pretty interesting. You know, I usually like things with the word angry in it because it usually means uh, spicy. I like spicy food. And I believe there's some kind of buffalo cheese sauce up in here. Buffalo, like, you know, buffalo sauce. Let's try it. Wow. Oh man. Bacon up in here too. Oh man, I know this isn't te technically, well is this macaroni? It's like spiral macaroni, I guess. This is so cheesy, creamy. It's got that like little hint of buffalo sauce in it, which uh, you might think that that could be a weird combo but it definitely works here. With the bacon in there, I've never tasted anything quite like this. Last but not least, actually last but least, coleslaw, but you know what? I do love coleslaw. It's not really that glamorous compared to some of the other things like, like this mac and cheese. 
Mm. That's home style too. That's really good. And I'll tell you what, when you're eating fried chicken, you want some coleslaw, man. There's nothing that cuts out the grease that balances it out than some good coleslaw. You know what? I'm going to do something a little bit weird here. I feel like this could work. I've never really tried it. That's a solid combo. Real solid. The light creaminess of the of that coleslaw and just mixes with the like the greasiness and the saltiness, savoriness of this uh, a chicken finger and the textures are also like they work together. To be honest though, these chicken fingers aren't that greasy. Anyway, everything here is just top notch. It's been a while since I've had some uh, some good chicken fingers, aka like I said, tendies. Which I don't actually call chicken fingers tendies. I don't know if you guys know that meme. I think a lot of you guys are up to date on the memes. I'm a little bit behind on them. But there's a, like a 4chan meme. Where basically like basement dwelling, you know, neck beards. Well, they just love tendies, chicken tenders. It's a, that's a whole that's a whole another thing, man. 4chan, that whole kind of subculture is is strange. I'll tell you what. I don't. I've tried to get on there a couple times, but didn't really have any success. But I do find it fascinating. I'm more of a Reddit guy. I know it's not the exact same thing, but. I'm on Reddit and I subscribe to some subreddits of like classic 4chan posts and stuff. So I see, I can see what, what they're, what they're kind of thinking. They have kind of a hive mind. Mm. Some great ranch, but you can kind of get a glimpse into like what a 4chan user is like, what's going on up in their brain. And it's kind of, it can be very, a little bit disturbing, I'll tell you. Either that, or just master trolls. I'm not really sure. I don't know anyone personally who uses 4chan, to be honest. Pretty much all my friends, like, know, or use, or at least have used Reddit, you know? But no one I know uses 4chan, and if they do, they're, they're hiding it. But yeah, man. Neckbeards, that's a whole nother thing. That's a whole nother, that's a whole nother crazy dimension. That I am pretty fascinated in as well. Not all neckbeards have neckbeards, and I know uh, just because you have a neckbeard doesn't mean you are a neck beard but like people like you know the basement dwellers the the anime lovers overweight a lot of times you know don't really keep up with their hygiene too well play video games all day i mean that sounds like the life doesn't it no i'm not hating on nobody because if i think about it i was kind of actually like I never can grow really much hair on my neck. And I was like over the past, over my adult life, I've never really been overweight. I've never been the biggest anime guy. I mean, there's some of the tropes that I didn't really fall into, but I was like kind of living kind of a neck beard life for a while.
and you're probably like, oh yeah, you're just saying that, but man, there was a solid year. I'm gonna say a year where didn't really leave my room. Played WoW, World of Warcraft, literally from the time I woke up to the time I went to sleep. Uh, well, the only the only reason I would leave was to get food, really, McDonald's. But I didn't go to parties, didn't really hang out with people outside of my house. Basically a shut-in. Um, for, yeah, like I said, like probably a year. And I gotta tell you, it's one of the most like bittersweet things that I've ever, ever experienced because <laughs> When I look back at it now, all I want to do, like I, I was like, I think, man, I want to live that life again. It was so just carefree in my mind at the time. Like I don't have any responsibilities. Um, at the time, you know, I was pretty good at what I was doing in, in my video games. So, and I mean, that gave me some sense of satisfaction and uh, it was fun. We're just easy living. I was probably 20, 21 at the time, perhaps. But I, I just know that I'll never be able to live that life again. I know it's a terrible life to live, but at the same time, it's like my most nostalgic period of my life, probably. And if there's one, like, I wish I could just go back, pause time, and live that life for like, couple years, you know. But it was also one of the worst periods of my life too, because I wasn't really happy. I'll admit that. I might say I was like depressed. I didn't have many friends in real life, but I had a lot of friends in, in the game, World of Warcraft. Never seen them. Uh, on the, I was on the forums. I was just on there all day, just sitting around, talking to people, dueling people, running like BGs with people. So yeah, I used to be pretty much like a neckbeard. I'm pondering whether I should eat this or not because I don't really feel like I need to. I'm not very hungry anymore. I mean, it's like a troll move if I just leave one piece left, right? All right, yeah, let's finish it off. Definitely not eating for the rest of today. And maybe not until tomorrow evening. After that meal, I'll probably wait at least 24 hours. That's a big meal for me, man, I'll tell you what. That was delicious though. Could do the last bite, I can't even lie. That was some great food there, some home style, some classic stuff there, and uh, I'm very, very satisfied. That's about it for this one though. Before I go, let me give a quick shout out to Cindy and Sunshine Tran. Thank you guys for supporting me on Patreon. 
really appreciate you and all you guys on Patreon. I know I'm I'm not really I'm not very good at Patreon compared to other people. I suck at it because there's other people with the tears and all that stuff, and I'm just like, you know what, you know, just give me a dollar. But yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.